We've seen concepts of driverless cars before. Um, many people weren't too impressed with what Google had to offer, but it seems like Mercedes-Benz might have something that may make the concept of not driving uh, more desirable. Let's take a few looks at their concept of their new car. So, damn, that it's, looks like it's from Tron. It's gorgeous. It really is a gorgeous car. It freaks you out, though. It's the F015 Luxury in Motion concept. It's the vision of the future. Look at all this. So there's a lot of extra space because um, the, the general uh, mechanics that are involved with driving and the current version of uh, gas engines isn't necessary. It's crazy. I see this part I don't understand because in the previous one it was turning facing the other way. Mm -hmm. So it swivels. Oh, it's got a swivel seat. Yeah. It's on top of it. You can so, turn it around. Yeah. The, the, so it, it debuted. Mm-hmm to kind of a, a strange debut because they were trying to keep they were trying to show people the car and keep them away from it at the same time. Because okay, it's a concept. It doesn't 100% work the way it should. Right. And I've seen concepts at like car shows that still like from when I was 9 <laughs> that still haven't ever materialized. Yeah, I've never really understood the co the concept of most concept vehicles right. because it's just like this is an idea we have, let's never do it. Why don't we do that? I mean, we end up, so when you think of a concept car, they give you this futuristic shape that looks awesome. But the cars they end up making, it's, it's the future now, like the Prius, look like a jelly bean robot. I drive a Prius and I love my jelly yeah, bean robot. Yeah, but you robot. don't, you can't like the way it looks. I like the way it's exp uh, costs. Yeah, I got a C-Max, <laughs> I got a C-Max energy. Uh-huh. And I, I don't like the way it looks. I'm compromising. What the shit, man? But Why can't are... we have cars that look like that? Well, maybe one day it's we the will. I mean, we already have driverless Google cars. They don't look that fancy. You know what we need is the Johnny Cab from Total Recall. Sure. They they so they had the thought in Total Recall the the Verhoeven version mm -hmm. uh, was they were like, in that idea they um they they aren't gonna have. We can't, I, we can't like even internalize or understand what it would be like to have no driver in the front seat. So they put like this android that is like, you know, you can recognize the character actor that it's based on. <laughs> it's like the same guy. And he's a Johnny Cab and he talks to you and it's really terrible. So they have this awesome futuristic self-driving robot car with a shitty animatronic face. But you, we don't need that. We, yeah. we don't need that now. I mean, that was made in the 80s. Maybe we've, maybe we've warmed up to the idea of not driving our own cars. Because if you look at this luxury model, those seats swivel around. There's 4K touch screens. The seats also recline. You could take a nap. It's like almost like having your own private train car, but you're not on a train. Question Better. for you. Question for you. Would you be able to sit in a car that's driving itself? There's no conductor like in a train. <laughs> Would you be able to sit... And relax I your way to work. I think initially, no, because, you know, change is hard. Uh, giving away that level of trust is hard. But remember how many crashes kill people each year. I, I could be the best driver and still die in a crash. You, that may also be true for a driverless car because we still have drivers in the equation on the road. Right, I get it. But that's it. But, like, it's the same with, like, for a long time I was scared of flying. Mm-hmm. And the reason for that is, like, I at least want to have some input if I'm about to die. Like, if I'm in a car and something terrible is happening, I want to at least feel like I can try to get, I can, re I'm the can one who's like, get out fast? of the way. But at least what I. If someone, what if your passenger dies? You'd blame yourself forever. What you're saying is totally reasonable. But the part of me that's not reasonable and is strictly intuitive. Your lizard brain. That my lizard brain is like, I just <laughs> want to be able to jerk the wheel. And that's not a sexual euphemism. The look on my face is different. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, so I, I really, I believe in that. I, 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 I don't think I would be able to sit there in a driverless car. I think it would certainly be a transition that would take a while because this is the way we've always known how to drive. There's always one person in the car who's controlling it. Um, mm -hmm. But I think, I think it's doable. I think there is a future where the majority, if not all people would be in a driverless car. And there are so many benefits to not uh, driving your own car. I mean, of course there's the safety reason, but then you could also be productive. You can get things done. You could travel overnight places. You could sleep. You wouldn't have to worry about your errors in judgment or your body failing, ruining your life or ending it uh, this, via a car crash. This is the worst, this is the biggest challenge to the American sensibility. 
Okay. Is it, is it American it's or is it just us, human? It's pulling us in two different ways. Because inherent in the fiber of America, <laughs> essential to this country, is, is the desire to drive. But also, just equally as fundamental to the fiber of the American ethos is the desire to sit and not do anything. Yeah, I'm in for number two, y'all. So, but like, <laughs> this is just be like, ah, 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 and we'll just literally explode as a nation. Yes, this will be the issue that divides us mm -hmm. and makes us kill each other in a new civil war <laughs> of driving. Yes. Uh, Elon Musk, though, says, like, the problem of the driverless car is solved. Like, the technology is there. So it's just, it's like, we have this. It's all going to be that, like, cognitive dissonance, that, that, that hump that we have to get over. Sure. I'm just saying, like, I can't believe this car's driving it. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. I'm blaming everyone but me now. That's another thing we love to do as people, y'all. So we're of two different minds here. Um, trust the driverless vehicle or no. No way in hell do you trust it. Also, scream a lot and talk about America. <laughs> Which one do you feel you agree with? Can you trust a driverless car? Let us know below in the comments. And please be sure to subscribe.